What's going on everybody? Crazy Dog back for another video. And these are my week 15 picks for the Steven Rose Tournament. As always, shout out to Steven Rose for putting this tournament on every year. There's a good chance I'll be doing this again next year. But I will definitely let him know for sure before next season starts. I might even let him know after this season ends. But uh, we'll see what happens. But anyways, let's get on with these Week 15 picks. Only got three more weeks left of regular season football. And then the playoffs start. And as you know, I'll be live streaming every single playoff game this year. So it's going to be lit. But anyways, let's get on with these picks. Starting with Thursday Night Football. The very last Thursday Night Football game of the year. Chargers Chiefs at Arrowhead. Chargers are 10-3. and Chiefs are 11-2. and both teams are looking very good right now. Both are going to be very tough outs come playoff time. The Chargers are very formidable, and I would not be surprised if they went into Arrowhead and got the win. But unfortunately for Chargers fans, I'm not going to be picking you guys. I know you guys are going to hate me for saying that, but the Chiefs are just looking so good right now. And I think they're going to continue this little hot streak that they're on into the playoffs where they're probably going to wind up going one and done because Chiefs, you know, uh, especially if they get a home game. They haven't won at home since, what, 1993 in the playoffs? Bro, come on now. That streak's going to end at some point, but it ain't going to be this year. I got the Chiefs winning this game. I think it'll be close within one touchdown. It'll come down to the very end. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Chiefs. That offense is still very hard to stop, even without Kareem Hunt. But don't sleep on the Chargers' defense, though. I would not be surprised if the Chargers actually uh, took it to the Chiefs and won this game. But I'm picking the Chiefs at home. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Kansas City Chiefs to improve their 12-2. and two. What a way to round out Thursday Night Football for the year, right? We had some very good Thursday Night Football games and some not-so-good ones. It's good to know that we're going to end it all on a very good game. So uh, there you have it for that. Moving on to Saturday. Yeah, we have two Saturday games this week, and I think we have two more next week. So uh, hey, how about that, huh? But uh, 4.30 on NFL Network, we got the Texans and the Jets. Oh, this is easy. I'm going with the Texans to get the win, rebounding against a very bad Jets team after losing to the Colts. That was a very tough game for them. Uh, Texans probably could have won that game, but they felt they came up short. Streak snapped. And uh, they're going to look to rebound against a, like I said, bad Jets team. I think it happens. Give me the Texans. Next, we got my Cleveland Browns heading to Denver to face the Broncos on Saturday night primetime. You already know I'm going with my Cleveland Browns to go into Denver and pull off the big W against a very decent, good, all right, Broncos team. Yeah. I mean, they're not amazing, but they're not trash. The Broncos are good. They're just beat up a little bit. But I think uh, the Browns will take advantage of that, and uh, I think we're going to get that dub on Saturday night primetime. Moving on to Sunday games. I'm going to fly through these things you already know. I'm not trying to take too much time. Packers, Bears in Chicago. You already know who I'm going with. Da Bears. Yeah, I'm going with Da Bears over the Packers. The Packers' season is over, and uh, the Bears are just going to keep riding on into the playoffs. And I'm telling you one thing, I would not want to see the Bears in the playoffs, especially if the Bears are at home. That team is as formidable as any team in the playoffs this year. Legit. It's going to be fun to uh, live stream a Bears game. But, uh, yeah, I'm picking the Bears. Da Bears. Ditka. Sausage. Chicago, Khalil Mack. Yeah, I'm going with the Bears. Enough of that. Next, we got the Detroit Lions and the Bills in Buffalo. I'm going to go with the Bills in a close one. Next, we got the Buccaneers and Ravens in Baltimore. I want to pick the Buccaneers just because I need the Ravens to lose, but the Ravens aren't going to lose. I'm going to go with the Baltimore Ratbirds to Somehow get a win over the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers are... 
Next, we got the Arizona Cardinals and Falcons facing off in Atlanta. We got a bird battle in the nest in Atlanta. Ooh, I hate these teams suck, but I'm going to go with the Falcons to get the win. I think it'll be a close game, but I'm going to go with the Falcons at home just because they're at home. Like, the Cardinals are bad, though. So uh, the Falcons are probably going to win by, like, two or three touchdowns just because the Cardinals are just trash. Legit. Next, we got the Raiders going to the jungle to face the Bungles. I'm going to actually say uh, the Raiders win. I know. Bengals are trash. They don't have a quarterback. They don't have the number one receiver. The coach is probably on his way out. The team doesn't care anymore. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to actually go with the Raiders to pull off the W. And uh, that'll be, what, their fourth win of the year? It's not too bad considering how – they only had one win for the majority of the season because of the refs. I'm not going to be like that. No, I'm, I'm just trolling. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Raiders here over the Bengals. And the Bengals will come to Cleveland next week and get their asses handed to them. Believe that. Next, we got the Titans and the Giants at MetLife. Yeah, how about that? Two games at MetLife in two days. That poor grounds crew, they're going to have their work cut out for them. I'm sure they're used to it by now, uh, switching over. They're going to have like 21 hours to complete the switch. I think they'll get it done in plenty of time. But uh, regardless of that, I'm actually going to pull for the Giants to win this game. I think they're actually trying to finish the season 8-8. Eight and eight. They don't care about draft position anymore. They're legit trying to win. And uh, if they run Barkley, I think no one's going to stop them. Give me the Giants. I mean, they just beat the living crap out of the freaking Redskins. Granted, the Redskins like are literally like, all in the infirmary. Like, half their starters are in the infirmary right now. You know, if the Redskins were, like, one of those SpongeBob characters, they'd be that dude in the wheelchair with glass bones and paper skin. Legit. Like, the majority of their team is in the infirmary. For real. Like, the Giants just beat the crap out of them. 40-something to 16. (laughs) Wow. And, uh, yeah, give me the Giants over the Titans. I'm going all over the place in this video. But, I mean, hey, it makes my videos that much more lit, though. You know, I'm not trying to sound like a robot. Next, we got the Miami Dolphins who pulled off a shocker against the Patriots. Some people said that was a fluke, but I think it was more skill than anything. I mean, got to have a lot of skill to uh, run around uh, a maze of Patriots defenders and somehow get past Gronkowski, right? Gronkowski moves moves like a pig in the mud. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go uh, Dolphins-Vikings. I'm going to roll with the Vikings at home. They're going to rebound after a tough loss to uh, Seahawks. So to a very good Seahawks team, by the way. And um, yeah, I'm going to go with the Vikings at home over the Dolphins. Oh, God. Next, we get the Redskins and the Jaguars. What will this be? Uh, Sanchez versus Kessler. The most unappealing quarterback matchup of the year right here. Honestly, I don't care who wins this game. I wouldn't be surprised if these teams tied the game and, you know, it ended as a tie. But... I'm going to go with the Jaguars just because they're at home. Saxonville Abbey will get the win over the the mortally wounded Native Americans. Yeah, I'm going with the Jaguars over the mortally wounded Native Americans from D.C. Yeah, give me the Jaguars. And then for the final one o'clock game of the weekend, we got Cowboys and Colts. I'm going to go with the Cowboys. They got the swagger back and they're... uh, Full steam ahead towards the playoffs. So uh, give me the Dallas Cowboys, baby. Next at 4.05 on Fox, we got the Seahawks and Niners. Niners got a big win over a uh, challenging, formidable Broncos team. I thought the Broncos were going to take care of business, but no, not against the Niners. But uh, I'm going to go with the Seahawks. The Seahawks are uh, on their way to the playoffs. So, uh, yeah, that should be fun. At least that's what it looks like. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Seahawks will get in at some, you know, probably a wild card. Definitely a wild card. I don't know what seed, though. Five or six, but they're probably going to make it. At least that's what it looks like. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I'm going to go with the Seahawks. They're trying to make a push here, and uh, it's going to be interesting. But I'm going with Seattle. Next, we got the New England Patriots and the Steelers in Pittsburgh. Uh, The Steelers are crumbling, and I love it. I'm going to go with the Patriots here. Steelers fans saying, we're going to win this game. 
Yins ain't going to beat us. Yeah, but the Steelers are crumbling. Like, I'm looking on Twitter, and we got Steelers fans, like, pointing fingers at people and saying they need to fire Tomlin. And the Patriots, they're pissed off because they lost to the Dolphins on a, a crazy trick play. And they're going to take it out on the Steelers in Pittsburgh. Get the ketchup bottle. Give me the Patriots to get the win. And then Sunday Night Football, we got the Eagles, who lost and got swept by the Cowboys, baby. Going to L.A. to face a pissed-off Rams team who lost to the Bears. Rams are going to take it out on the Eagles. The Eagles' season is all but finished up. I'm going to go with the Rams. And then Monday Night Football, we got a dandy. We got the New Orleans Saints going to Carolina to face the uh Carolina Panthers, who have now lost five straight games. Yeah, this is easy to pick. I'm going to go with the Saints to get the win on Monday Night Football. And uh, these two will see each other in two weeks, so that should be good. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for my Week 15 picks. I'm Crazy Dog 99 Let's go Browns, and I'm out.